How's it going, everybody? So, I am going to show you something right now in Ableton. I'm just going to get right to the point, okay? I have been looking for a way to do what I'm about to show you for many, many years. I've searched all over YouTube. I've looked on every forum. I have looked everywhere to see if I could find a way to do this thing I'm about to show you here sampling in real time without changing the tempo of the sample okay meaning that when I when I normally pick a sampler or a simpler and I open it up you know I could either drag a sample here I could open up the zone drag a, sa a sample here um, to sample right okay and when I do that, when I do that, it samples it, but it, as I go up, you can see that it changes the tempo as well. And there's not really necessarily a, a easy way of fixing this like right in the sampler that I have found unless somebody in the comments can show me that would be amazing too but because of this I had to find uh, a way around this and I've looked for plugins um, I'm not gonna lie I've, I've looked all over the internet so I moved my face over so you could kind of see what's going on here with the sampler. Um, so I found a workaround. Okay. Let's not even open the sampler. We're not even worried about samplers or anything. Okay. All I've done is I, I dragged. So I'm going to, I'm going to start from scratch and show you exactly what I did. Okay. And we'll get rid of all these clips. Because I did that one already. And that's cool. But I'll show you straight from scratch. I'm just going to go into my kits. And I'm going to find. You know. An acapella or something. Yeah. No we're not doing that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that coconut chocolate one. Yeah, okay. So this is a good example. So we drag our sample from our our thing. See, I'm still using Ableton 9. Y'all are still pro are probably using Ableton 11. It, it's going to do the same thing. So we drag our sample into audio. Coconut chocolate. The segment says it's 130 beats per minute, so I gotta change this. So I got my tempo set to. It, it recognized the clip because it was a shorter clip and it warped it automatically. And it said it was 130.9. So I warped it to 130. And we can even do 0.9 if we want. So we'll go 130.09. Okay. Frack it. And now we should be in perfect time. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start right where I want so I'm going to zoom into my clip I found this is my start point set one one here that's going to start the sample right there right and now we got our sample starting where we want now in order to get things to change in the tempo that you want like if you have it at four bars and I duplicate this. It's going to 
gonna change after four bars. Coconut and so what we want it, we want it to change faster than that. We want it to go quick. So we're gonna put it at, at an eighth note or sixteenth note. I'm gonna put it at an eighth note because I feel pretty comfortable with it. So now it's switching at eighth notes, okay? And so what we're gonna wanna do now I'm just going to delete that one. We're going to start with this original sample I have here. It's already set at the one that I made. And we're going to duplicate this sample 12 times at least. So control D. We, we click on the sample. Control D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That way we have a whole range of notes you know a b c d e f g plus the five sharps or flats however you want to call them we're gonna we want to manipulate these so we can play them with different notes so what you have to do this one right here see this transpose you're set to normal we click on the next clip we go to transpose click one Enter, go to the next one, click two, enter, three, so we're moving on to three, three, four, four, and so on, right down, selecting each new clip. Five, six, seven. Let's make sure you get it right. Eight. Next, the next one. Nine. And then we'll have to do it by. We could do one zero. Enter. Ten. Click on it. 11, enter, and 12, enter. You can also adjust it by hand right here, so you know. So we want that at 12. It's just easier to do it, to punch it in. That way you don't have to fine tune it, see? And just one, two, enter. All right, so now we have all of those at a note ascending on the keyboard. We want to trigger these. So, in order to do that, we go to our MIDI. Okay? So I click on this first clip once I have my MIDI here selected. Click on the clip. And I'm going to select my low C. I'm going to go right down the line for each note. Click, click. Click, click. Click, click all the way up the keyboard. I'm left clicking on the mouse, by the way. And right to the last C. So I did one octave right here. You could do two octaves. You could do as many octaves as you want. You just have to create them all the way down. I'm just doing one octave right now to show you. So now we got it there, okay? We should be able to play it. Now you notice it's on time. does not change tempo now wow okay now in order to record this I don't even have to have the record button on here okay I, I it's not gonna record like that on this channel I need to now on another audio channel here's one conveniently right here or you 
can insert an audio channel, whatever. I go make sure the I.O. is selected right here. Make sure this is up. And then we go audio from three, which is audio three. Boom. Record. You notice it. Look at the gray. I don't have it on because I don't want to hear both things at once. So I have it off. I turn it on. It'll do it at the same time. It's fine. So now, when I hit record over here anywhere, it's going to record. So as you can see, let me stop all these clips now and I'm going to hit the clip that I just recorded. And there it is. And all its glory. And you can, you know, if it's off a little bit, it should be pretty on because, as you can see, it snaps it right to the thing because I selected one eighth. It's not if I had it on none then it would just go wherever it wanted to go, wherever you hit it. But I have it snapping to one eighth note, so it's not, not bad. And that's how you sample in Ableton without time stretching. This is stretching the pitch in real time without the tempo. I haven't found another way. If you know another way, feel free to tell me and show me in the comments. Oh, and I got please subscribe, please subscribe.